today's video, I wanted to show you all my current skincare routine. Um, the one that I've been doing since like the winter time, usually when it's colder and dry. Specifically for us melanated girls, I know we get a lot of um, hyperpigmentation and dark spots on our skin. Um, and I want to show you guys kind of how I like to combat that and also I have pretty acne prone skin Especially since I got off birth control skin's been kind of crazy and hormonal and I just wanted to show you guys how I've been combating that um, And also like getting rid of my dark spots because I have suffered from acne since I was in high school really it's been on and off um, It's been pretty good since I was on birth control and then obviously getting off of it my skin's like what the freak is going on so I want to show you all my current routine and now this will change up um, I like to change my skincare routine at least like twice a year or a seasonal um, but usually it's like twice a year summer and winter um, but I'll show you guys once that's updated after the summer is over or during the summer or something like that because I am going to be traveling a lot this summer and my skincare routine is going to have to be on point because you guys know when we when you travel your skin hates you so anyways enough shit chatting and let's get into the video like i oh let me put my hair back because i just washed it and it's literally dripping down my back first and foremost i cleaning my hands and also having good good and clean makeup brushes is so important um because that has a lot of bacteria that it intru introduces to your skin and if you have very acne prone skin like me anything will set it off so makeup brushes and clean hands so i've been out the shower for a little while so my face isn't wet so i like to apply my product with um a wet face mostly um a mostly wet face um so to so wetten it up if i just stepped out of the shower and i went to go do something like i did today um i will freshen up my face again um or wet it up again <laughs> Does that sound right? I'll wet it up again with this Evian um, facial spray. I got this big bottle from, where did I get this from? Marshalls and it is awesome. And it's aerosol, which I love. It feels so much better than like the regular spray stuff to me. Um, so I just spray it, wet my face up a little bit. Sorry if y'all hear some loud car in the background. It's my annoying neighbor's car. I do like to wash my face with the Tula's um, probiotic and superfood cleanser. Um, it's just like the regular one here. I got it off the to the website again or uh, everything that i do mention will be linked down below just fyi for you guys um but this is what i use to clean my face i just realized <laughs> i put moisture on my face and i meant i actually go in with this so um i actually used this in high school and it cleared my skin up when i was in high school this is oxy it used to be called oxymom if i'm not mistaken but they still sell it at walmart it still smells the same so i think it's like the same formula but maybe like they just call it something different but this is an acne treatment advanced act advanced care maximum strength um they also have like um like a whole line but i didn't see the rest of them but i really was coming for this but this is the two percent salicylic acid treatment they're just basically toner pads a bunch comes in them 90 pads comes in this um and i just take my face and just wipe it all down especially focusing here um i i do like i said i do have hormonal acne so i've been trying to eat a lot like healthier drinking more water that's really helpful um just kind of staying away from things that i know triggers my acne um, and then I also started going to get facials. Um, but yeah, that's all the leftover residue that was on there. So I'm gonna throw that away. And then after that, I actually go with this just to wet my face up a little bit more to apply the rest of the product. So I do this in the mornings and at night, this whole routine I do in the morning and at night. So the first thing I like to do is go on with an oil um, serum. Now I, Okay, a while ago, like a long time ago, I suffered from really, really oily skin, and now I feel like I have more like combination normal skin, which is awesome, and it's so weird like having dry skin. It's just like the weirdest thing. Um, well, to me, it's dry. I'm just used to like having like buckets of oil on my face, but I like this Tula's uh, Brightening Treatments Drops, and this has vitamin C. Vitamin C is also really good. Um, active ingredient, or is it an active ingredient? A good ingredient to have on your... Um, in your skincare routine um, for dark spots as well um but this is the probiotic superfoods from tula i have a lot of tula products today um and i like to put a pump like this about this much in the dropper um and then like that much in my skin and just work it here this is like what i like to do the first layer of skincare product after i do my toner actually i'll do a little bit more And then bring it down the neck 
and just like try to be as gentle as possible. And then bring it down my neck. And after that, I go in with my Clinique's moisturizing gel. This is really good. It doesn't feel very greasy or oily on my skin afterwards. It just seeps into my skin really nicely. This is what it looks like. And I'll just like do a few pumps. I don't really have like a, a method to my madness. Maybe like about this much. And then I'll start on my cheeks and it feels so nice and soft. And of course, bring it down my neck. Um, next, I will go, I try to keep this as minimal as possible. <laughs> um, sometimes I'll go in with this retinol. Um, this is the Sonoma Naturals Retinol Smoothing and Brightening Serum. I don't know if this is, I got this from Marshalls. I don't know, like, it just adds an extra layer of moisture for me. Because I, I am, ten, I do tend to be on the drier side when, um, like around this time of year, like in the winter time, so. And then just put that on. Sometimes I'll use this Golden Boosters Amala Berry Vitamin C Serum for Beekman. Um, this is what I'll change up from maybe this or something. I just kind of switch between these two. This is what it looks like. Um, toner wise, I like this Clinique's Acne Solution Clarifying Lotion. All you do is just shake it up like this um, and then just put it on the cotton pad. It's really good. It has 2% or 1.5% salicylic acid. Um, I feel like this Oxy, this one was a lot more stronger, so it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling for my skin. Um, and then also, if I have any blemishes, like a pimple or something, I'll use this Derma Ease Sulfur Spot Treatment. It has colloidal sulfur and salicylic acid in it. Um, and you just put this on at night once you're done with your skincare routine and just let it sit. Um, and then usually like the inflammation has gone down a lot and then sometimes the pimples pretty much almost gone I don't use this at night obviously because I'm inside um, This is a Tula's um, Protecting glow sunscreen and it has 30% SPF in it Awesome, and it's really moisturizing for your skin. It doesn't feel like really You know how, like a lot of sunscreens like leave your skin feeling very um, Greasy this is very moisturizing instead of greasy and it smells really good, too smells like sunscreen it is sunscreen <laughs> okay so now that all of that has seeped in um my last thing that i like to do is use this um rose glow and get it um under eye it's just like a really cooling brightening it says it's a brightening balm but it's i just like it because it's super cooling and it feels very it just gets my under eyes feeling good so it is incredibly moisturizing under your eyes and it's supposed to help with wrinkles apparently I don't know about that. I will say it smells like a glue stick. It looks like one do. <laughs> um, but I don't know, it just it's like really good. It feels really good. And I just do that, try to be as gentle as possible since it is under my eye. And that's it. Um I'll sometimes I'll top it off with um this just to like just feels refreshing. I just like this because it's refreshing. Um, and then I also like to use this jade roller. Um, I like to put it in the fridge so it's nice and cool. And I like to just do these kind of motions here and down just to help with like my lymphatic draining and stuff. Apparently it's supposed to be good for jello skin. And down on each side a few times. Oh, it feels so good. So yeah, so definitely a key factor into my skin just chilling out and getting a lot better. Um, is drinking more water, getting more greens, um, like vegetable intake, fruit intakes, and just having like a better balanced diet. It's really, really important. Yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.